Hey everyone, how are you? This is Julie of Lady J. Um, I wanted to show you a mini album that I finished up today that I had been working on yesterday. Um, I have to probably a total of six to seven hours in this mini album, and any normal album I only have about two to three. So this one took a lot of paper and a lot of uh, time because I have Cricut images in there, and I, you know, I'm all about the quick and easy minis. And so I wanted this one to be a little bit more detailed. And so, um, first of all, um, I will show you this mini album in a second. But I wanted to show you uh, the cartridge that I use. It is the Sugar and Spice Light cartridge from Walmart. And it has tons of cute images. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare, but it's super, super cute. And then I also use the DCWV uh, Peppy... Yeah, Preppy Princess Stack, and then the Nana's Nursery. And so, as you can tell, I love these stacks. I mean, there's hardly any paper <laughs> left in them. And so, give me just a second. Put those away. Alright, and so, this album is using the Bulky Bliss Method, as you can tell. See, there we go. It is seven and three quarters long by five and a half. And the spine is two and a quarter, so it's not as big as my other bulky bliss one, but uh, I thought it came out cute nonetheless because there's a lot of detail in there. And so I will go ahead, sh go, uh, <laughs> go ahead and show you what this looks like. I absolutely love this album because of all the vibrant, girly colors. So there's the cut, there's the inside of the cover, and then here's the first page. And I only did three different sizes of uh, photo mats in this album. One of them is 4x6, and um, I used a combination of the Sugar and Spice uh, Nursery nursery Tales, cartri Imagine Cartridge, and these stickers that I got from the dollar store. I thought they were just too cute to pass up and use. And so, here's the second page, and I love this little safety pin. And I still have to cut um, uh, the word baby out here, but I'm looking for my um, story time cartridge. Um, like I said, I had moved my scrapbook rooms, and so I'm still getting a little bit of stuff organized. And so, um, here is the next page. And this one's actually a pocket, and, uh, you know, they can put something here if they like. But it's just a 4x6 photo. And then this is just a little book that I made. Isn't that lamb so cute? Uh, this one I actually drew the face on, because I didn't, um, want to use my Peachy Keen stamps. It was just... Uh, it was a hassle to get to, let me just say that. My room's a mess right now. And so this is a little book. Let me tuck that in right there. And then um, this is a 3x4 photo mat. And then I just left this blank so they can put, you know, anything they'd like in there. Oh. And then here is this page. And of course, this is just a little envelope that I made, and then I just stuck a little tag in here. It's blank, but I got these tags at Michael's, and um, I bought tons of them, so I've been using them in a lot of mini albums. And so here's another 4x6. And same with this bear. I drew the eyes on there. And then I thought it was so cute because that you said mama today, and you know, it's important to record those things. And so here's the next page. Oh, and I forgot to show you, this is actually a pocket, and you can do some journaling in here, and um, I just left the back blank, you know, just a little tag, and so, and then there's a little card candy that I made, and then this page is just a little kind of leftover page from the album that, uh, when I got done cutting it down, so I just decided to decorate it a bit. And there's the back of that little flap. I actually attached it right under, I don't know if you can see, right underneath this paper. So it just lays there. And then a 4x6 photo. I love this little kitty cat. It's so, so cute. And here's another pocket page that opens up. And I left those blank too. And then just a little tag. A little library card in a 4x6 photo mat and they could either ha it could either be a sideways photo or a long ways photo um, you know the choice is up to them and then this one I love this little lamb as you can tell I used it twice in this album and so 
There we go. Oh, and this one's another pocket. So you have another one of the same tags. And then this page, this one's just a little bit more plain only because it has uh, the dollar store sticker and then um, the Imagine flowers and the Imagine uh, wording that says, you know, you took your first steps today. And so, and I thought this um, little horse was appropriate, kind of like uh, the cow jumping over the moon thing. And so here's this page, and this bottle is from the Sugar and Spice cartridge as well. And this one I decided to go a little bit on a different route. I put tags, um, I cut this paper um, in half and then I glued it in the middle. So there's these tags both pull out. And then this page, that turtle just looks so, so cute. And then um, I got this stamp from... Um, I believe it was Michael's in the dollar store bin. And so, and here we are at the last page, if I can get my fingers to work. And there we go. And I love that kitty cat. I use that one twice too. I have, I mean, I have two cats. How can I not use cats? And so anyways, that is the whole album. Sorry it's a little bit of a long video, but like I said, it was a little bit more detailed than, you know, some of my other albums. So. I hope you guys have a wonderful time crafting. Bye!